Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another Pastor Jerry Jacobson message for you. Here to see, focus on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. Pastor Jerry says, it's your time today. Reference John chapter 12, John chapter 3, and Galatians chapter 2. Listen up and learn that it is indeed your time today. Like and subscribe. You can see these and other great videos. Now listen and learn. Hey folks, how you doing? Jerry Jacobson here. I uh, want to tell you that next week will be my last message. And uh, I just was talking about my brother Blair who records these things. And, and I'm... 89 and I'm getting old and I had a stroke a while ago and and we talked about God not being hindered by that when we're weak he's strong and we know that and we talked that over but I still think it's time for me to quit so I'm gonna do it and uh, and I thank you for listening all of you that did and uh, I want to share again with you today and again next week and I'm gonna read from the 12th chapter of the book of John today. Here we go. This is Jesus talking. He says, He who sees me sees him who is with me. I have come as a light into the world that whoever believes in me should not be abide in darkness, and if anyone hears my words and does not believe, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. He who rejects me and does not receive my words has that which judges him. The word that I have spoken will judge him in the last days, for I have not spoken my own authority. But the Father who sent me gave me command what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his command is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, just as the Father has told me, so I speak. Jesus came to save you, and he came to save me. I'm already saved. <laughs> he saved me. He did that. I was 26. That's been a long time ago. And... And he saved me, but he may not have saved you. And there may be uh, 50 people or 100 or days to come, four, 500 or 1,000 people that hear this and aren't saved. But I want you to know there's only one way to get saved, and there's only one God who shed his blood that your sins would be washed away. Not covered, but washed away, and that was Jesus Christ. He bled on the cross of Calvary, and his blood, if you believe it and receive him, washes your sins away. They're gone. 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 Never to be remembered again. God will wash them away. God loves you. He loves you so much. I, I just think about him. Listen to what he, listen just a couple of scriptures that come off the top of my head. He's talking about going away. And he said, Behold, I have come to seek and to save that which is lost. And we were lost when our brother Adam sinned in the Garden of Eden. We were cursed by the curse of sin. And Satan became the god of this world, and he became able to treat us any way he wanted to unless we had Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit in our life. So I'm telling you today that this is the day that God loves you and wants you to participate in his good, kind fellowship and friendship. I have a friend named Blair that comes and tapes this message that I speak every week. And he's a friend, and he, I look forward to him coming and hugging me because it's like being hugged by Jesus. And I know that when I talk to my Lord and Savior, that he hugs me, and he loves me. When I was 88, 
I heard a voice from heaven. I don't know if it was Jesus or an angel, but I heard a voice, and it said, Happy birthday, Jerry. <laughs> That's pretty good. And I've been so, I've been, I bet I've sold 20 people about that. I'm so happy about that, that God wished me a happy birthday. And he loves me, and he cares for me. And God so loved the world that he sent his son, Jesus Christ, because there had to be a sacrifice. Before Jesus came, they would kill a lamb and shed its blood, and its blood would cover the Jewish people's sin, or whomever Christ sacrificed the lamb, it would cover their sin for a year. But they'd have to kill another lamb then the next year. And on and on and on. But Jesus died once for all. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth is not condemned, but he that believeth not. Listen to that. He that believeth not is condemned already. That's John the third chapter. And if you read that, read it, wanting the truth, and God will shake you with that chapter of Scripture. God loves you. God doesn't want to condemn you, but you're condemned already if you don't believe in His Son, Jesus Christ. Because Jesus came to seek and save that which was lost, and that was you and me. I got saved when I was 26. That's been a long time ago. I hope you get saved today. All you have to do, that means that Jesus comes into your life. Hebrews, the fourth chapter, the second chapter, and the 20th verse says, talking about Jesus, it says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet, not I, but Christ lives in me. Look at, listen to this now. Jesus made his residence in me, but Christ lives in me, and the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. See there what I'm talking about being saved? And with his salvation, I'm going to live for eternity, forever. I'll never die. I may get sick, I may break something, I may hurt myself, but if I die, I'm better off. I go to be with the Lord. He loves me. I'm so thankful to say that God loves me. And I'm so thankful to say that I was able to talk to you today about Jesus, who loves you. And God the Father sent his Son into the world to seek and save you. You! I don't know who I'm pointing at, but you, whomever you are, if you want to be saved, God will save you today. Because all upon his, who call upon my name, he said, will be saved. So call upon the name of the Lord, receive your salvation, and I'll see you in about 10,000 years in heaven. <laughs> because we'll be there together. Just because you believed what I said, this is the power you'll have after you believe what I say. You'll have the power to be able to tell somebody about Jesus, and they'll get saved just like you did. It's wonderful. I've, say, I've prayed with lots of people in my lifetime just like this that got saved because I got saved. It's so important for you to get saved. It's so important for me to tell you this because God came to seek and save that which was lost. That was you, that was me, but now we're saved. I love you. I'll see you next week. God bless you, my friend.